was a long time since I'd driven down the road to that dark house. But as the leaves changed that year, something called me back. A certain way the wind moved, the way the moon bore down on me on cloudless nights, the way the chill bit through a little deeper. It was nearly impossible to begin the journey, but as soon as it did, it all unfolded rapidly. Jesus, Matt, slow down. Look, I got it, okay? Just these wipers. Sure it's not your driving? Screw you. Bet you'd like to. You really know where we're going? Of course I do. But the turn, it, it's, just, it's one of these bros to the left here. It's, it's coming up. I have no idea how you fuck me out of Harvest House. Look, you can go hang out with all your stoner friends and get groovy some other time. It's my last chance to see the house before it gets sold. By the sounds of it, it'll be good riddance. Didn't you say the thing's crumbling down? No. I mean, it's a little beaten up, yeah, but it's got a lot of history. It's right on the ocean. Great. Think we can do a little bit of fishing? Yeah, yeah, sure, man. You can catch stripers right off the rock. Stripers? Sounds like a party! <laughs> Forgive me while I indulge in a little bit of what I'm missing. Ah, uh, fresh, local, organic. Matt, what the hell? It's a turn. You spilled my stuff all over the place. Deal. I shall, in my own peculiar way. Two elements were colliding with one another, just as they had the last time I was on the road to this place. Something alive and free, and something darker. I didn't let on to the dark side, but I knew it was there, just outside my vision. Isn't that funny? What? This is where that kid got his eyes gouged out last year. Screw you, man. Oh no, I'm serious. See that rock? There's still black paint from where his car hit it. I guess they hosed it off, scrubbed it, the whole deal. But they couldn't get it off. Man, shut up! That's the lake where you almost drowned. That's where the truck pulled up. Dude! Uh, right, yeah. Well, it's just, it's just funny, isn't it? Can't get anything out here. The last miles were always the longest, through the twisting turns of the Black's woods and onto a lonely stretch of Route 1. The rain dissipated on the way, replaced by a palpable fog. By the time we reached the farmhouse, it was thick enough to slice. You know, it was sunny down in Portland. And it will be here tomorrow. It just gets foggy sometimes. Sure. You want to quit the BS, man? It's going to be a great weekend. If you say so. <laughs> At least I've got plenty of herb. <sighs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Can't get any closer than this. I guess not. Now, over there, okay? See that field? Well, maybe not. Uh, but this was an active farmhouse for a lot of years, and uh, that was before my great-grandfather bought it. I thought you said it had been in the family forever. Well, it's kind of weird, actually. How's that? Well, the family that lived here before, it sold it for quite a deal. I'll tell you the rest later. This door's never been locked. I thought you had the key. Well, well not for this door. I, I didn't even think this one had a lock. Or maybe you just don't remember it. For Christ's sake. Hold on, I'll get it. Look, I can just break this window. Hey, David, no, come on. What, you want to camp outside then? Well, look, we can probably get in through the back door. Fine. So about this house, is that another one of your spooky stories? No, even worse, it's true. The mother, she went mad. No one knows why she did it, but they found the husband with an ax in his head and the children tied to a stone in the water. Jesus, what is it with you people down here? They found her hanging from that apple tree. Over there? Yeah, she was blowing in the wind when they found her. Creak, creak, creak. Okay, I get it. As a child. I swore I could sometimes see her swinging there. I hear the apple tree creaking. Creak, creak, creak. Matt. And the children screaming with the waves crashed in the rocks. Dude, you're a freak. <laughs> Where's the stupid door? It's right around the corner here. Hey, this is the barn where they found the husband, by the way. Give it up, man. Huh, any other bright ideas? No, I guess we'll just try one of the windows. There's a brick right here. I don't know what you mean by try. No, come can... on. This isn't my house, man. Look, I'm sure we can get one of the ones out front unlocked. This is not my idea of a fun night. Let's 
so I keep on walking. Hey, what? This window's busted out. Oh. In the basement? Unless you freaks built the pantry underground. No. Well, let's check it out. I'm not going down there. Fine then. Hand me the flashlight. From what I can remember, there's, there's a stairway that leads to a trap door and from there you can get in and come around to the front if you want. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, but... But what? Nothing. You sure you want to do this? Of course I do. I ain't scared. <laughs> God, no one's been down here in years, have they? No, not that I can remember. I can tell. You got rats bigger than my dog down here, man. And I've never seen spiders this size. Wait, what's that? Holy crap. It looks like there's something in the corner, maybe? Some kind of den here? Let me get a better look. Wait, David. Yeah, it's, it's really weird. Like, there's all kinds of rat skulls on it. And is that blood? Oh. Oh no, something's moving! It's coming for me! Ah! David? David! <laughs> oh, screw you, man! You've been doing it to me all night! Now, where's the stairwell? That's not even funny. I'm not gonna turn around. I'm, I'm not gonna turn around. You do not exist. You do not exist. Matt, what's up with you, man? I thought you were gonna meet me up front. I thought I heard something. What was it? Nothing. As I stood at the door, both excitement and apprehension flooded through me. Many years had passed, and I had no idea what to expect, good or evil. The door hummed with energy as I stood before it, nearly springing backwards on its rusty hinges to welcome my presence again. Here we are, and what a dump it is. I thought you told me this place had power. It does. Not right now, it doesn't. That's strange. I don't know, maybe the bulbs burn out. I tried all of them. Oh. Hmm. It felt like no time had passed at all. The same creaking floorboards, the same rustic walls, the blackened wood stove, the antique rocking chairs, the player piano. Hardly anything had changed. The house was older, yes, decaying, but its character was unchanged. As I finished surveying the house, there was just one thing that I didn't expect. What the hell's this? Who's she? She's pretty good looking, huh? Ew! That's probably my great-grandmother. Look, it sits right here. Lady Sarah Polk. Polk, what kind of name is that? Her name. Huh? You know, the lady who... Oh. Jeez, what's it doing on the wall then? I don't know. I've never seen it before. What do you mean? It must have been here for a long time. I don't remember it. It's, it's not even got any dust. Huh. Well, how about that? Come on, let's go. It's giving me the creeps. Lady Polka, Lady David! Polka. <laughs> who's got who's scared now? Despite it being out of place, the portrait drew me closer. If only I could touch it. Polka, Lady... Matt! Don't touch it! <gasps> what the hell? <sighs> Matt, are you okay? I feel like, like something huge just left my body. What the hell, dude? And what the... How the hell did that get the lights on? I, I don't know. A an electrical short. The, the thing was grinding out. You completed the circuit, right? Sure. I'm gonna go get my stuff. Sure. I'm just gonna get my stuff and head to bed, okay? And I'm keeping the goddamn flashlight. The energy had returned. 
I knew that I was meant to be here, that it was right being here, that somehow there was something about this house that needed me as much as I needed it. And though the reason was yet unclear, I had a feeling that I'd find out soon enough. So, uh, you got your pick of any of these rooms down this hall, and they're all bedrooms. And that door down there leads to the attic, but there's, uh, there's a pretty nice one over here. How about this one? No, I wouldn't. It's got a nice view of the ocean, nice big bed, maybe even its own bathroom. You know, I just mean, David, I, I wouldn't... What? I always had nightmares in that room. <laughs> you were a kid, dude. No, really, really bad nightmares. It was... Like, it was... Her room. Can it, man. I'm sick of you trying to spook me. Suit yourself. I'll be at the end of the hall. See you in the morning. If you last the night. something? I heard a crash. Enjoying it. What the hell, man? What was all that screaming all about? There's blood all over your room. Hmm? Well, this, I mean, at least I heard when I went in there, there was... <laughs> hey, not so fast, man. I found the coolest thing I've got to show you. It's down in the basement. David, you're covered in blood. You won't believe it till you see it. Come on, it'll only take a second. What's going on? What's wrong with you? Nothing. And then he grinned. A big, boyish, toothy grin revealing that his teeth, too, were coated in fresh blood. Boom! Ah! Ah! What? what the hell? I broke the key off. What? It shouldn't open. What? You're pretty fast quarry, you know? Be proud of that, it makes it more exciting. You're, you're crazy, David. I don't believe this. You don't have to. Ah! You can't hide from me! Think you'll be safe in the attic? God damn it! Who the hell boarded this thing up? Hey. 
I know you're in here, Matt. Wherever you are, I can smell you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Now. You wouldn't be hiding in these old clothes, huh? Smelling like mothballs? Ah, you mongrel! Damn it. <laughs> you think you can get me with this little stick? No! Time stood still as my awareness reeled, still battling to believe that this was real, that this was happening. Then, thoughts tearing through the mind, a scrambled mess of what is happening, what has happened, and what could be, twirled around madly with the imminent need to survive, searching for the right way to act in that confused and unknown moment. David, did you, did you bring some bad acid here or something? I'm gonna go call the cops. Maybe, or maybe an ambulance? How's that? Huh? Oh Christ, your forehead looks bad, man. Let me, let me see. Let me see. Let me, let me see if I can. Maybe I can get some of that glass out of there. And as skin touched, the energy surged alive again. <laughs> Explain. No, I was just trying to help. Get away from me! If I can just get down here. Shut up! Shut the hell up! A single dangling light bulb lit the musty basement as dark and foul as it had ever been, full of the smell of damp and dying things, the rats, the terrible thing that must be buried down here, the thing that had its most power here in a dark place where even I feared to go. Possibilities swam out amidst a mess of survival instincts, fear and madness, the cracked open window with the night air beyond it, and an axe lodged deep in a stump, rusted clear to its handle, but doubtless still with an edge. I scrambled towards the likeliest chance. Yes, here we are. Can we go play by the ocean? You'll have to ask your mother. We're not playing anywhere until we've had lunch. Oh. That's okay. We can play pirates later. And maybe go pick from the apple tree. Can I go down to the basement again? That place is so cool. <laughs> oh, maybe later. We've got a lot of time here, guys. A whole lifetime to enjoy it. It wasn't until the new one showed up that I realized why I had been called back. Why we had to do another sacrifice. Life was returning. The dark thing needed a hand to feed it lest it fade away forever. And I, flowing like I did through bodies, wood, and stone, was that hand. As trapped as it was, doing the only thing we had done for centuries, for the only reason we ever had. Survival. That's funny. What? The door's open. I, th I thought I'd locked it. Really? Forget it. Welcome to our new home, guys. 